was our first date, so it's like, not why? A date. I oh was God. going to go get food, and yeah. I asked if you wanted to come yeah, with. And this mother- is where I happen to be going. Yeah, this mother- is broke. So like, now I'm broke. He's broke. Now I'm broke. Okay, I make yeah, more money than your stepfather. So like- hey, what's going on, guys? Shaq Clips here once again, and today's some crazy clips of the worst couples I can find. And like always, guys, my favorite clip will be at the end, but in this first one, it is pretty insane. This woman decides to reject this man because of this. I'd be down. Yeah. 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 Uh, do you want my number? Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't have my phone. Uh, I'll give you. Yeah. Yeah. You have an Android? Yes. An Android? Never mind. I can't do this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Because I have an Android? <laughs> now everything was going pretty much smoothly until she found out he had an Android. I will never understand what's wrong with having an Android. Majority of the world runs on Android. 70% does. Is this girl a child or something? I'm confused. Would you rather be with a broke man that loves you so much or with a b- anything apart from that? Or with a billionaire that provides for you but doesn't love you and cheats on you? Billionaire. Yeah. Like, I didn't even have to think about it. Like, obviously the billionaire. Love goes out the window, mate, when there's no fucking food on the table. I mean, are we talking about broke? Like, absolutely broke. broke. Like, no. What am I going to do without love? I can't <laughs> eat that love. <laughs> Someone's love wants to fly first class. That's a famous quote from Love is Blind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do? That broke man would probably not be so in love with you if he was a billionaire. Yeah, because you never know how people change when they got loads of money. Wait. You don't know a man until a man has power. Yeah, that's so true. I agree. No, I obviously understand that nobody ever wants to date a broke guy because having a hard lifestyle and all that kind of stuff obviously sucks. However, saying that you'd rather date a rich guy who provides for you, however, just cheats on you and is only with you because of your looks is not a relationship. It's a business transaction. You have him for his money and he has you just for your looks. Not to say that he's ever going to be with you forever because he honestly could just divorce you if he wants. I'm in 101 because I'm sick and tired of watching you be so clueless. Number one. The DM slide. You are not going to slide into her DMs unless it's with this message. What's your Venmo? 10 out of 10 response rate. You are going to wait until later that night or preferably early the next morning. Send her $20. It does not have to be a lot with the message reading, Good morning, princess. Coffee on me. You want her number? Ask for her Apple Pay. Once you get her address, randomly send her things. And I'm not saying to send her a Rolly or a Birkin. What you're going to do is make sure that she's home, get to know her schedule, start a conversation, ask her to send you a picture of her face because you miss it. When you know she's home and she's going to be home, you are going to send her lunch or dinner. Extra points if you do not live in the same state as her because that shows so much effort that you actually research to find a good, healthy place that she likes and send her the best thing. And if you really like her, send her options. Observe her social media stories. Is she sick? Send her soup and pressed juice. Is she having a bad day? Send her $500 to cheer her up. Yeah, all this girl really cares about is money. And if the key to a woman's heart is money, sorry, she's a gold digger. You don't need her. She's never going to provide anything to you or in your life. And all she's going to do is just run your pockets. This girl probably has some kind of OnlyFans account and just wants to promote it to a bunch of sugar daddies so they can just send her a bunch of money. The sad reality is though, a bunch of women definitely were agreeing with her in the comments about this. That's my baby mama and them, bro. I didn't, I didn't lay in next door. I didn't lay in next door, bro. And her and my baby mama and them get they back beat out for two, three hundred when I was broke and f- up, nigga. I'm cut different. Yeah, this guy is not different. He's just stupid. I would literally rather work 60 hours a week the rest of my life than have my wife ever have to go through something like this. He's here trying to be super proud about this, but this is just embarrassing. I'm dating. I'm, no, You're using I'm men. dating. You're I'm using getting men. to know. No, You're I'm not. Excuse men. me. Hold on. I'm getting to know men and I'm getting to know what I like and what I don't like. So you ever use a dude for some food? Yes or no? And be honest. Yeah. All right, then. So you're using but men. But I don't need to go out to dinner. Yeah, the ones you go- date, the ones you pick, don't even have to take your dinner they can pull up in some basketball shorts and some flip-flops and worry out you're using the men that you don't like and if you do not like them do not go out to eat with them if she won't you without you spending money don't with her Ain't no man should be used for no- And this is exactly why a bunch of men nowadays just want to split the date 50-50, because women like this exist. A lot of women like to use a line, where have all the good men gone? Back in the day, men would always pay for the date, but sadly, a lot of things have changed, and women do not care about using a man up. This is just absolutely cringe. I'm not sure what she is doing. She's just embarrassing herself. You clearly still miss him. You can say broke. You hate to say broke because women don't self-identify as broke. It's true. 
A no. Lot of, no, no, no. Let's just start right there. You didn't want to say it because I'm telling you why. Subconsciously, women don't identify themselves as being broke. They're saying not That's to do not broke what it is. because he can't take you where you can't afford to take yourself. Broke is a mentality to me, and that's why. I All right, say your it. mentality and your bank account is broke. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this guy is 100% correct. A woman would gladly tell a man that he's broke. However, they have the exact same job, making the exact same amount of money, live in a similar house, driving a similar car, but he's the broke one? It's always the brokest girls that complain about when a man is broke. I think the issue is with men nowadays. Men are shitheads. The one thing I have is every man I've ever been with has cheated on me. Yeah, every man has been a selfish piece of shit. And all <laughs> Yeah, I have, I have, personally, I have an issue with men when they breathe, talk, blink, yeah. eat, eat, and that's when, all. Yeah. Yeah, these girls are obviously either drunk or something, and they're at some kind of college party. These are the kind of women that are just for the streets, and you should definitely avoid them. The entire parking lot was open. There was literally nothing in the way except this pole. How does this happen? My first boyfriend. He was yeah. Where's he I'm now? Where's he I'm still dating him. Three oh my God, really? Yeah. Congratulations. Almost That's actually f***ing dope. Yeah. You guys got to get... Wow, Super look yeah. at that. I was yeah, about to say, you know, honestly, that's the dream right there. Yeah. Hopefully, I end up like you guys one day. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But uh. You might not though. I might not. Probably no. not. No. Why not? For, we had because really my boyfriend is like top tier. Like, He's top tier. That's yeah. true. What makes him top tier? Give us some qualities. He's the best boyfriend ever. Why? You gotta explain why. Because he listens to me. Okay. That's amazing. Yeah. Exactly. He does everything I want, right? It's a really hard thing for guys. So what, I wouldn't listen. Days. Are you saying that I'm not capable of listening to somebody? Um, <laughs> She's I mean, like, most guys, well, first so. of all, you're shorter than me. So, okay. Okay. You know, like that's all. Well, who said I'm going for you though? Huh? Who said I'm gonna go for you? Obviously, I want to go for you because you're taller than me. I mean, like, what? Well, I model, so like a, a lot of people. Okay. Yeah. I don't get where you're going with this. <laughs> now this guy is a complete beast for remaining calm the entire time, and he didn't even lash out. He he laughed at her face. He was giving her respect throughout the entire interview, and even complimented her multiple times. There was absolutely no reason for them to be mean to him. But you gotta love how he just brushed it off like he didn't care. Success, your status, your money does not make us more attracted to you. Like I would say that's like just specifically maybe for you. Like, I don't think no. he owns a business and, like, is super cool and, like, you know, like, you, you don't find... It, is it Be, because it's a, intimidating? Because, it, like, it's because it has masculine. Nothing, it has nothing How to is do... It, it has nothing to do with on, masculinity. Hold on, let me... I'll, just, I'll answer. It has nothing to do with being intimidated. The real reason why men don't care about how much a woman makes is because, at the end of the day, the man is still gonna have to pay the bills. A woman can make 100k a year and still want her men to pay the bills and still want him to buy the food and take care of the dates. Like, it's useless. I like short kings. She says she no. got a boyfriend. What? what? Cause they're shorter than me. She's hey, tall. How much you weigh? I'm five, five, Hello, you don't ask a lady that. <laughs> so like. Hey, as well, how, much you weigh? Weigh? how much you weigh? How much you weigh? One thirty-five. Yeah. How much you weigh? weigh? Like, like, you. You gotta love the double standard. I don't think they realized the point he was trying to make though. Fun fact: I learned yesterday that the average woman has four sexual partners in their lifetime. So that taught me that I'm a. Oh. <laughs> it probably averages females, and you know, back in the day, it was like wrong to do that. I think virgins are bringing the countdown. Now this is exactly why I don't find a girl at the club or at night in the street because these are the kind of women you're gonna be coming across. Definitely not wife material. Excuse me, like why are we here? What? Why are we at Chick Fil A? What do you mean? Like, do I look like a Chick Fil A as girl to you? Yes. Yes. Like, why are we at Chick Fil A? It's insane. You, you want me to be completely honest with you? What do you mean be honest? Like it's fast food. Like I, I, I'm not, I'm it's not, not eating just fast this shit. food. It's Chick Fil A. It's like peak fast food. Come on. Now. Okay, but it's our first date, so it's like. It's not why? a date. I oh was God. going to go get food, and I asked if you wanted to come with. This, and this is where I happen to be going. This is broke. So like, now I'm broke. He's broke. Now I'm broke. Okay, I make yeah, more money than your stepfather. Broke. So like now what? You're broke. Be a real you're man. Your that pays for everything. Okay, be a real man and you're take it to another to place. You're to be a real man. Yeah, and, you're and, not and your a real, real man. Your real father is not even take in your it. real life. So, like, that's, what are we talking about? Oh, my about? God. That's disrespectful as hell. <sighs> it could be disrespectful. Do you want to get food or not? No, I'm not eating this. Some broke people. It's broke people.
I'm not eating the okay. bro people in your room. Fucking broke ass. Take me um, home, me bro. Take me home. I'm getting my food first. You're bugging. This pleases me. Take uh, You're really eating this big ass chicken. Yo, bro, I don't give a now normally I would definitely say that going to a fast food spot on a first date is definitely not okay. First off, I don't even eat fast food like that so I can see how it's disrespectful. However, this man explicitly said it's not a date and he just offered her to come along. There is nothing wrong with that. It completely baffles my mind how some women are super entitled where they think just because they're coming along, this man suddenly has to change his plans to where he wants to eat. That's just my opinion guys, leave your thoughts down below. But that does wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys do more content just like this, please click links you guys see at the top of the screen. It does have my channel a lot. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.